Father God, I come boldly into the throne of grace to attain mercy and find grace in the time of need of our world. Father God, there's other brothers and brothers and sisters out there that are praying for the nation of, of the United States. Father God, forgive us of our trespasses against your throne. Jesus, forgive us for, as believers, allowing people to let the sin get as deep as it is. When we all stand before you, you're not going to be looking at the world as much as you're going to look upon us. What did we do in your name? Did we warn people of your soon coming? Did we warn people that they need a savior? Did we warn people that you are the only true light and you are the only way that we are given back to God Almighty who created everything that is, was, or ever will be? Did we warn? Did we warn in love? Did we have compassion on those that fell? And, asked, and told them that Jesus can forgive them to get back up on their feet, and then warn those who are playing games with you, Lord. Jesus, forgive us of our silence as the body of Christ. Jesus, people are literally dying. Yeshua, and they're going to hell. Yeshua, I'm asking you as a daughter in Christ with other believers across this earth, God, things are going to happen on this earth, and it's going to happen in a lot of our areas. Jesus, Psalms 91 is, you said, the claim. Psalms 23, which I think is so powerful, because we do walk through the shadows of death on this earth, but we're not to fear any evil. You said, fear not, for I am God Almighty. You said death for a saint, or going to sleep as a saint, is... Uh, victory we stand firm in you that we win in the end no matter what we win if we stay on the narrow path that leads to you leads eternal life in you children of God are not out there killing people I'm talking about the true body it's not out there killing they're not out there stealing they're not out there backbiting their neighbor they are not tearing down the church they are not accusing everybody that walks and say they're not of you. Father God, I ask for forgiveness personally for not standing as strong as I can stand. I stand with my brothers and sisters across this earth, this world system that is not of you. We are not of this world. We're in it, but we're not of it. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, you said in the end days you will visit us in dreams. That young men will have, old men will have dreams, young men will have visions in the handmaidens. You said, Jesus, that we are to go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. We are to be a fool for your name's sake. We are to forgive all aught that is done unto us. Father God, if there's anybody that I have hurt, forgive me. And if there's anybody that hurt me, forgive them. Cleanse us from all unrighteousness across this earth, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Yeshua. Jesus, you are Yeshua. You are the Son of the living God. You are the first begotten of many brethren. You pray for us. You have to intercede daily for us. You have intercede when you cried out before you went to the cross. You cried out for us. That would be. You said, "Blessed are those that have that pre that has the feet that preach the gospel of the you, Lord, Lord Jesus Yeshua. You are the only true God. You are truth. Period. You are love. Period. You are hope. Period." You are the Almighty. 
You were here before the foundation of the earth. You were before any of us were ever breathed breath in our lungs. You are of the past, you are in the past, you are in the present, and you are in the future. You're the same yesterday, today, and forever. Father God, I send your word. Wake up the true body of Christ. Let people get born again. If you do not know Yeshua, here is Yeshua. Jesus, open the hearts, take the scales off their eyes to see that you are the Son of God. That you are the only way, the only truth, and the only life. That you gave your life so they do not have to go where Lucifer and the fallen angels are to be tormented day and night forever. They do not have to go to a place called hell, and hell is a real place. Yeshua has said it. It's not a, it is not a, 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 just a parable. It is not just a figment. It is not just an illustration. It is a true living Byron place. Hell is real as heaven is real. And many people are going there. The unseen world we can't see with these natural five senses is really there. People of God, in the name of Jesus, Yeshua, there's people out there playing with the other side. They are seeing that the other side is real, but they're just going about their path and pretending that demon spirits are not real. They are just as real as God is real. But God is victorious. They are defeated. It has been written before the foundation of this world. And if Lucifer would have known, he would have never had Yeshua Mashiach, Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, the Anointed One. He would have never had him crucified at Calvary. Jesus, I send your word, and it cannot turn void. Yeshua, open their eyes to see your truth, to see that you are the true Son, that you gave them a gift that can, none of us can ever repay back. That one day I'll be able to sit on my father's lap and tell him I love him or go in him like you do and just hug him. Jesus, open the eyes of the blind that do not know you as Savior. Because you truly, for God, who created everything, so loved this world. Not the earth. The earth is his footstool. The world. That he gave his only begotten son. That who, who, so ever believeth in him should not perish, but have eternal life in you. Wash away the memories of the pain and hurt, God. Heal the brokenhearted, Jesus. Mend the, the hurt that was done to them. Teach them forgiveness. I send your word and it cannot turn void. I send your word across these airways that people's eyes be open unto the sun. And that their eyes be open to true love who is love, and that is you. Break them, change to bind the children, the people that have been molested, and the women that have been raped. I've been in both situations, Lord, and you can forgive and forget. God will take them out of your mind. You may be used them to bring up to help someone else to will get set free, but they ain't there to torment you no more. Forgive those that are turn their lives into drunken alcohol, thinking drugs or alcohol will will suppress it. It's fun for a season. You said all sin is fun for a season. Then it comes back at you, and Satan is Satan is merciless. Remember, Jesus is mercy. You're your mercy, Yeshua. Satan is merciless. 
Jesus says we are to put him under our feet. Do not rejoice that demons and evil spirits and Lucifer is subject to you, but rejoice that your name is written in the Lamb's book of life, that you are eternal with him. Praise him. Know that you belong to him. Know that Yeshua Mashiach gave you eternal life. Yeshua Mashiach loves you. He is the one who gave his life. He paid a penalty that people are falling into hell that cannot come back. People are dying every day. Just a few days, a week ago or so, my own child, under her command, a young boy had passed away. I don't know where he's at. She doesn't know. She says, Mom, I did find Bibles in his drawer. But only him and God knows where he is. And um, she thought he was 19. He was 20. He'll be 21. He would have been 21 in a couple of months. I think she said November or something like that. I don't know. But Jesus is coming. And he loves you. Jesus gave his life for you. He could take all things that people have done to you. I know, personally, I know. And he can wipe it away as though it never was. Jesus loves you. He gave you a way to live the way it was supposed to be before the fall of man in the Garden of Eden. And so many people are blaming the woman and blaming the man. But if you get into Genesis, read what it says. It says the man did the first blame. He blamed the woman and he blamed God for creating the woman. There's so many people, women ain't supposed to preach the gospel. They go on one scripture in the Bible and they fly with it. And I believe it was Paul that said women are to be silent and no man should listen to a woman preach. But Jesus, the first one that's seen Jesus administered was Mary Magdalene and the woman at the well before he was crucified. She ran and she told them, he told me and he a prophet, he told me everything I have done. And she had five men and the one she was with was not even her husband. So Jesus can forgive you if you had an abortion. Jesus can forgive you if you murdered someone. Even if you molested someone, God can forgive you for that. Old people will get mad at that. But God can forgive any sin except blaspheming the Holy Spirit. He can forgive anything. And the ones that blaspheme the Holy Spirit are believers. Non-secular persons. Because how can they blaspheme something they do not understand? Um... Seriously think about your eternity because you are the one that's going to pay the penalty of that eternity. We are here, we're a vapor. We're here for a moment and we're gone. And you are forgotten after a period of time out of the minds of those that have known you in your time. Maybe 20, 30 years someone may come across your picture but they don't know who you were. They just know you exist and that's it. What are you going to give in exchange for your eternal life? What are you going to give? What sin? What is worth losing your eternal destination? Because you go to heaven for eternity and be with God, or you will be separated from Him, and you will go to a place called hell, and it really is there, and there's other names of hell because there's different levels in hell. Because someone that just lived a life and didn't receive Jesus, it's not going to be put where Adolf Hitler is, okay? And, and my on that, okay? Pray for the nation, yes, and pray for your president. I don't agree with one idol of him. I don't. But Jesus loves him just as much as me and you. Hold that man up before God. Father God, I send you word and you cannot turn void. Peace be still in Jesus' name.
take the scales off your shoe, the only thing you can do is I plant your seed. Grow it, Father God. In Jesus' name. Amen. Shalom, shalom. Maranatha, Yeshua Mashiach. Jesus is Christ, which is the anointed one, the Son of the living God. And He loves you. I don't care what background you are. I don't care what nationality you are. That's just a pigment in your skin. Jesus loves you. Yeshua Mashiach. Maranatha, I'm still looking up.